pasión, mi gente. I'm here at the Hollywood Walk of Fame, where many stars have been honored, like Michael Jackson, Marco Antonio Solis, John Travolta, Ricky Martin, Sharon Stone. But today, you're going to have the opportunity to meet the up-and-coming Cuban filmmaker and actress, Mylene Calienes, who will share about her passion, movies. Hollywood, the mecca of the entertainment industry, attracts tourists from all over the world. They visit the Walk of Fame, the Chinese Theater, and Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. They pose next to the likeness of their favorite celebrity. They get their pictures taken on the boulevard. It is an experience that happens only in Tinseltown. The Kodak Theater, home to the Oscars, is the epicenter of Hollywood. And just a few blocks away lives Mylene Calienes. The thing that I like to do most is make movies. I could stay with them, to take care of them. I like to create my own stories, tell good stories, make you smile, not try to depress you, and have fun. Mylene grew up in Miami, where she trained to be a dancer and a theater performer. She moved to Los Angeles to pursue a career in acting, but her daily conversations with her co-workers at Universal Studios helped her find her true passion. Being in the entertainment industry takes a lot of work to uh, make a movie, but I love every second of it, and that is my passion. Esa es mi pasión. Her first movie project was The Dance of the Death, a story of passion and death told through the seductive and dramatic dance of flamenco. In this short film, she not only played the main role, but she also produced, directed, and edited the project. For me, it's not only when you make a movie, the movie making process of it, the visuals are important. For me, music is important. While visiting her parents in Miami, Mylene took her camera to Little Havana, where she documented a popular hobby among Cubans. There's a little place in Miami in Little Havana called El Parque de Domino, Domino. The game of Domino is a very popular game amongst Cubans, and they play it in a very special way. Y yo fui a este parque de Domino, where I met characters, Cuban characters, los viejitos, like big Cuban characters that taught me how to play the game of domino. And we sat there and they were talking about how it originated. It originated in China. And it was just very interesting to me. Caliene says one should always write about what they know. For her second short film titled Havana Gila, she uses comedy to tell the story of a young couple facing a quirky culture clash with relatives. <sighs> Thank God that relationship is over. Por favor, please. A story about a Cuban girl that brings home to her Cuban Catholic conservative family her Jewish boyfriend, Havana Aguila. Uh -huh. And it takes place in Miami, Florida, in Little Havana. Headshot and resume. Hi. In Borderline, her third short film, she mods the current immigration controversy with amusing characters who personify female actors trying to move to Los Angeles and a Border Patrol agent who tries to control the flow of actors migrating to Hollywood. To be or not to be? <gasps> That's a good question! Okay, okay. Uh, your boobs passed the test, but you didn't. My boobs got to stay? It's about, um... A governor of the state of California, his name is Schwarzenheimer, he passes a law uh, that there's too many actors living in the state of California, so um, they have to kind of control the regulations, you know, kind of like what happens with immigration, right? Um, so what he does is he places border patrols all over California, and all the actors that come in driving to try to make it to Hollywood, um, instead of the border patrols asking for their, like, passports or license, they're like headshot and resume. Her passion for storytelling is driven by the characters she creates. No, you can't leave them. Come on, officer. Calien has revealed to Que Pasión that she is currently developing the feature-length script from her acclaimed comedy, Havana Gila, and a new short comedy titled The Three Bilinguals. In the dramedy, there is a sister who's Cuban and straight, and two brothers, one a Mexican hunk, and the other a bisexual Puerto Rican. That role will be carried by renowned actor Johnny Ray Rodriguez. When you make a comedy, you have to enhance that quirkiness just a tiny bit. You exaggerate the dramatic parts just a tiny bit. Well, The Three Bilinguals is about three people 
that are bilingual, meaning that they speak Spanish and English. So one of them is Mexican, the other one's Cuban, el otro Puerto Riqueño. Um, mom will take out the hat, the hair's fine, and the hat, perfect. Okay. Amame, okay. amame, Ricardo, como te quiero. What is that from? A telenovela? No. Excuse me. Excuse me. I hate to interrupt your little therapy session, but my break was supposed to be 15 minutes ago and my head is gonna explode. Plus, my foot is killing me. I'm talking and I'm driving. I am so talented right now. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do this for one of my films too. <laughs> we wish the best of luck to my land and can't wait to see the three bilinguals. If there's something that you love to do and you're passionate about, tienes mucha pasión, follow your dreams, follow your heart. You don't want any regrets in the future. And I hope all of you guys out there, all of you guys out there that also um, have aspirations, whether it's directing, acting, producing, or whatever, reporting like Don or PRing or whatever, keep doing it. Keep it up with that passion because that's very important. That's what's going to drive you to success.